We have an awesome Kimura from Guard today. It's gonna to be a unique setup and a unique way to finish. But you know what? It's easier and I think it's more effective. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Craig Tom. I'm here today with Reese. We're gonna have a look at a Kimura from Guard. And I know you've probably all seen plenty of Kimuras done from Guard but I like to do it a slightly different way, uh, especially over the last couple of years, and I find that I get much better results. So let's have a look at it. So I've got my partner, Reese here, my closed guard. Now, obviously if his hands go on the mat, I can just come up and I can take my Kimura, but good guys don't do that. So then you say, well, I'll break him down, and now I'll go for it. But by the time I do that, he rips his arm out, and it's gone. So one thing I like to try to do is I like to just try to pull him forward just enough to get his butt away from his heels, and then my feet will come in and under his. Okay, so I've got a great vine leg position. And then if I've got two, great. But at minimum, I'll be able to at least do it with one. So I'm gonna bring my feet towards me, then push him away. So I bring him towards me to get his knee light, and then I kick away. And now I can move his hand down really easily, and I can come over and I can grab my Kimura. So I'm going thumbless like this, okay? So I go thumbless, thumbless. Now, if I try to put it up behind his back, it's just his uh, arm against my two arms, but it's not the same. But watch how I can tap him if I can't get it up behind his back. If I've got the lockdown like this, I can stop him from moving forward. So I kick that leg out, and now I just pull this arm up like this. It's much stronger. I could always pull it up and then go over his back. But if I've got the lockdown like this, I can just pull it up for the tap. Even if he straightens his arm out, if I've got a lockdown, I can use it as an even longer lever to come up like this. As opposed to a normal Kimura where if he straightens his arm, like it's screwed and it won't work. So let's have a look one more time. I've got him here and I can get two feet in, that would be great, but even if you get one. So I'm gonna bring him up and then kick him out. And then his hand has to go down here, he can't hide it. And now I'm gonna come up and I just pull this straight up as I kick my leg. Now I couldn't do this one straight up if I didn't have the lockdown. So if I just had closed guard and I went straight up, he just crawls his body forward, crawl your body forward, crawl, crawl, crawl. And now I'm the one in the horrible position wanting to tap. Okay, so it's a unique setup and a unique finish. And it's important to realize that while you can use the setup with a different finish, and uh, you can't use that finish without that setup, because without holding their hips, you simply can't get the tap with the lift. But I'm telling you guys, if you start pulling up your Kimuras like that, you're gonna think, why did I put it behind his back for all these years? But as a bonus, to make that work, You'll also then learn the leg grapevine position from close guard, which you may already know, but it makes for a tremendous setup for the Kimura. So by doing that leg grapevine, you're gonna get more Kimuras and you're gonna finish more Kimuras. And I really like Kimuras, and I think it isn't a big guy move. I've liked Kimuras when I've been 170 pounds or 210 pounds, it doesn't matter. I like Kimuras, and I think they work for everybody. You just need to know more about Kimuras than the typical Joe. Because if you just know typical Kimura stuff, then yeah, it helps to be you know 280 pounds against a 150 pound guy. But if you know the technique, I don't think size plays that big a role because it's just your rotator cuff. That's weak. And even the weakest guy in my gym could rip my rotator cuff to bits, let alone someone who'd be twice my size, I think they could do it easy. But obviously if you are a strong guy and you learn these little Kimura tips, you'll be hard to deal with. So I'm Coach Tom, take care and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.